All right, Tristan, are you ready to rock that stir fry with me? Yep. We are so set up. You did a wonderful job with your mise en place. Check it out. Look at what this 12 year old did. He julienned, he, he sliced on a bias, he fine diced and minced fresh ginger, fresh garlic. I, your knife skills, I'm watching you develop your knife skills. You're good. Mm -hmm. Oh, how do you hold a knife? Uh, how do you hold a knife? You're supposed to hold it like this so you have a nice grip. Steering yes, wheel. exactly. And you don't want to point. Oh, do not put the finger out. No. no, no. So that is perfect. Don't you like that new knife I got? Mm -hmm. I was trying to be cool and hip and keep up with you. Okay, let's go. Let's turn this on and um, we'll go through our mise en place as that's heating up. Uh, um, Tristan, what do we have? What is our mise en place? Let's tell everyone what we've got. Okay. We've got gin. Sesame oil. Sesame oil, hoisin, yes. ginger, and then garlic. Excellent. And good job mincing. And a hoisin is like a Chinese barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. It gives it a little sweetness and savoriness. The sesame oil is not used to cook with. Sesame oil is only used for seasoning. Okay, we got a nice hot pan. We better get going. All right, so this is coconut oil. Mm -hmm. I mixed it with a little bit of butter too, a little ghee. And um, we are going to add our chicken first, okay? And as you can see, the rest of our mise en place will go through, but it's hot, okay? And I want a hot pan. Mm -hmm. I always want you to have a nice hot pan like that. Okay, are you on as high as we can go? Yep. We were cooking with our ears. What did you hear when we put it in? I heard dryness. Yeah, sizzling, and, 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 and it was perfect, okay? It was searing it all in. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to let you stir fry, okay? And um, when we stir fry, let it set now, okay? Just let it set and, and cook one side, and then we'll cook the other side. So that is our chicken. We marinated our chicken breast in my uh, Jamaican jerk sauce. Mm -hmm. I used to live in Jamaica, and this is how they barbecue. They're known for their jerk chicken, except it's really, really hot. I gave you some of my hot sauce, right? Mm -hmm. So this is Americanized, just so you know. Uh, how's our, our rice doing? Right back here, I don't know if you can see that, but look at the, the steam. It's coming out slow. I'm not even going to peek. I'm just going to turn it down just a little bit more. Okay? I tried that hot sauce and it was hot. Is it hot? It's hot with flavor, though. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to set this, Tristan, for 15 minutes because mm -hmm. we're going to be busy over here. Rice takes about 20, so just always remind yourself, use your cell phone or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead, you can move it around just a little bit more. You went to the other side. The stirring it is fine. All right, good. That's perfect. So the rest of our mise en place for our stir fry, you talked about the key components, okay? Mm -hmm. These are all our seasonings. That's our flavor from our profile right there. So we've got julienne, julienne of peppers, uh, snow peas, and it's all we did for the snow pea was just removed, and I left this one here purpose. This is where it was attached to the, the plant. And just take that and pull that down. This gets stuck in your teeth. And if you want to be a good chef, mm -hmm. okay, make sure you take the extra time to do things like that. Mm -hmm. I've got cornstarch and some cold water. We call that a slurry. That's how we're going to thicken it up. Um, and I have chicken stock. And I think that's about it. Let's go. That chicken is just about done. Give it a little stir again for me. You can see it's almost all cooked. Put that one around, yeah. You can kind of see. Okay, so we're like pre-cooking that. Mm -hmm. Nice job. All right. Because if you cook it with that, it's going to take you long. Exactly. Different times. Okay, now if you were only doing one, mm -hmm. you would push it up like this and then you would do your vegetables. Mm -hmm. But we've got some visitors that stopped by, so we have to cook for how many? There's like six of us now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, with the stir fry, don't worry. It takes very little meat. Okay, now it's a one pan dish. I'm just gonna let it get hot again. I'm gonna put a little oil in here and we're gonna we're gonna make our seasoning, okay? We're gonna season this oil. You can go out and you can buy um, like a, uh, a ginger flavored oil. Let's mm -hmm. make our own. So we're gonna add our garlic, because I love garlic. We're going to add our ginger, because I love ginger. Mm -hmm. And um, a little bit of onion. Stir fry that around for me, dear, okay? I'm going to add my onion. And now you can really smell it. I can, you can taste. Bring it right up to your nose for me. It's called wafty. Whoa, a little spicy from that jerk sauce. Wow. I think that's enough for me. Okay. So we did good here. We're all done. Right there. And what we're doing right now is we're just seasoning the oil that we're working with. And you need a little more oil. Okay. And this is coconut oil. And why do I use coconut oil? 
Well, they taste better for you. All right, so let's start working on our vegetables. Are we, are we there? Let me see you whack that right up to your nose. To your nose. Tell me what you feel. Tell me what you smell. I smell... It's strong. It's strong. It's good, though, and it's interesting. That's that ginger. And we all love garlic. So let's add our carrots. are going to take the longest because they're very um, tough. So the first vegetable you're going to stir fry around in here is the carrots. If you had broccoli, the broccoli's kind of the same thing. So really get that onion, okay? You know, somebody made that spoon for me. This one? Yeah, they carved it. I went to uh, the artisan's. Um, that's cool. Yeah, so it's really, really special. And that's why I gave it to you. I'd love to take to this place where these guys make spoons. Out of trees, you know, out of wood. Looking good there. It's not burning or anything. You're at the perfect temperature. Now, we are on high. Um, this is a heavy-duty pan, and this is a quick fish. Actually, I don't even mind. I have friends in the back, and we're going to have this ready in probably 10 minutes. So the next one would be the red pepper. Oh, no, let's do the mushrooms, because we've got to shrink them down. Yeah, they're so big. I like mushrooms, and you said that you're okay with it. A lot of... A lot they're of not people, my favorite. Yeah, a lot of people don't like them, so I made them really big. So stir that in. And uh, I, I guess we could do the peppers as well. I just want to get those mushrooms cooked a little bit. Um, with the stir fry, one of the things I want you to look forward to with the stir fry is um, it's it's healthier. Um, these vegetables are going in the pan and out of the pan. All right, um, they're not steamed. They're not losing all the nutrients. Um, you want them a bit al dente. You want a little bit of crunch. Stir fries are about textures. Sometimes I put uh, nuts on top of mine to give it a little crunch. Oh, you're doing great. Oh, do you remember I taught you how to flip that crate? Yep. Yeah, watch this. Okay, and uh, you don't have to do this, but with this, you can do the same thing because we have that sweet pan. Watch. I'm, oh, I know, I'm not perfect, don't worry, but you don't have to do it, but still, it's that same idea. I've got that curve. If you're not perfect. <laughs> then you don't ever worry, okay? We'll never be perfect, but we'll keep trying. If, All you're, right? if you're not perfect, I'm definitely. <laughs> you just got to keep trying. I drop a mushroom, sorry. I don't want to step on it. Thank you. So, this is a great experience. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. We're doing good. Now, the last thing that we're going to add. Oh, I got these wild mushrooms. Can I add them? Yeah. They're porcini, shiitake, and cremini. They were dry. Mm -hmm. And then I took a little of the broth when I reconstituted them. So we'll put that along with our chicken stock. And then it goes over there. Good, huh? Good? Oh, I got it. We left a little thing on here. That's why it flew out. It flew at me to tell me that it still mm -hmm. had that on there. All right. Got rid of that. Okay, so these are our seasonings. I'm going to line these right up. This is our secret ingredient for our sauce. I want you to just look at that and understand about how we season. Okay, so there you go. And these are our tasting spoons. Don't you like them? Yeah. They're all so pretty. We, the chefs, we always carry them in our pocket. But you and I don't have a pocket. So I guess we can't. But use the spoon, okay? Always taste with the spoon. And we, were, we use plastic spoons. That, give it a stir. I think we're almost there. Your carrots are looking nice. Now, do you want to, I'm going to cool one off for you, okay? I'm going to just let it cool off, but I want you to bite into this, okay? And tell me what you think. It's a little al dente, isn't it? All right? Well, by the time we're done adding our liquid and letting it thicken, that will be fully cooked. But I wanted you to try it before and then after. But it is almost there. Okay, flavor. Let's go. Are you ready? What we're going to do is we're going to deglaze the pan. Because he's ready here. With our chicken stock, alright? So there we go. This is for our sauce. And now I want you to push all the vegetables up on the sides and just there, okay? I want to see that. That's why, that's why it's sloped like that. I'm going to add my mushroom liqueur. And you don't have to do that. That's just because I had some dried mushrooms. And a bit of hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce is a fantastic um, Chinese barbecue sauce. It adds it, uh, a little bit of sweetness to it. Um, I don't know. It's just great. And we're going to finish it with just a drop of sesame oil. Okay? Sesame oil. You cannot cook in sesame oil. It's just for flavoring. If you've got chicken soup and you're not feeling good, and it doesn't taste all that good, 
go grab some sesame oil, put a couple drops in it, and it'll make you feel really, really good. Now, um, uh, we have to bind this up somehow. So let's bind it with a slurry. A slurry is very simply cornstarch and cold water. Okay, cold water, key. Now we gotta taste that. Where's our spoon? Wait one second. We gotta taste it before we bind it up. Let me just get my slurry ready. So cornstarch, cold water, there we go. And let's see what we got there. I'm gonna take a spoon, and I'll, this is when you taste your sauce right now. Blow on it. Mm. Wow, it's really, really good. It's really good. I'm just gonna add a drop of my drip marinade instead of soy. Just a drop. Okay, now stir that in with two drops. Because it's really concentrated. Now we made it, you know, Caribbean. Okay. We look good. And um, I'm going to add back everything. We're going to add back our chicken now. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm leaving my that right there. Stir that up. And last but not least, we're going to add Napa cabbage. I love Napa cabbage. Could you give me my towel again? I need to wet my board. I always say that to you, and I'm going to, uh, yes. And when you grab your towel, students, okay? What I want you to do is to fold, fold it into a square. square, and I want you to put your hand down. That way you got, instead of like this, you got that full, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and it covers, more coverage, right? More coverage. It makes, you do the job in half the time. Okay, so let's add our snow peas now, because those I want to be very crispy. Okay, stir that in, and we'll, the Napa cabbage, the reason why I use this Napa at the very end is because it lifts it up and um, it's going to make it like double in size with a very cheap ingredient. It's also good for you. A lot of antioxidants. And it's like in the cabbage family and we all know. Um, you know what, would you would like to, uh, I'll start out, um, in fact to make it easier. I would love if you would cut it. So that's Napa cabbage, this is beautiful. I like it better than the regular cabbage, it's not so, um, so strong. All right, are you ready? Yep. Okay, grab your knife, and what I want you to do is just claw, claw and go forward, okay? Bunch it all up like that, okay? Grip it. Okay, keep it bunched. If I may, hand it over. Got the steering wheel, you're in charge. such intent when you when you when you slice. I, you feel his intention. You know, look at that. It's just and, and we've only worked together for a week or two weeks, our second class, right? Third class. You did you like making the French onion soup that day? Yeah. I mean you had to cut all those onions perfectly done. I don't want you to go any further. But I would like for you to take your knife, yes, lift it up and bring it right to my pan. Alright. And this is going to give us a lot of volume. Yeah, clean all that up for me, please, Tristan. We look good, and we'll bind this sauce up. We've tasted it already. It tastes great. Um, Tristan, I like this dish because I love all the color. And did you know that each vegetable and each different color has different vitamins and everything and nutrients? So if you want to make sure that you have the proper nutrients in your in your meal every day. Do we need that other side? Yeah, that's good. That's great. I want you to um, have that because you got to go home and do this for the family. Right? Yep. Right? Yes. Yeah. High five. Yeah. Okay, now um, bring our slur. Oh, wipe your board. Wipe your board. Okay. Right there. Yeah. Thank you. Tristan has his um, sink filled with hot soapy water. <coughs> Tristan has his apron on. And uh, Tristan, where's your side towel? Right here. Stand back and show everyone how you wear it and why. Why do you wear a side towel? So whenever you make a mess or anything, you always have a towel to wipe. And what if something was in the oven and it was burning and it was hot? You grab it. Yeah, so, so you, you always have it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't you take a peek on that rice and let me know if it absorbs. Is it fully absorbed? Yeah. I can't believe you touched that with your hand. That's why we have a side towel. There we go. Yep, it's, it's done? Yep. Okay. Can I take a little peek? Not that I don't trust you. It's not that hot. Oh, no. It's perfect. Good job, Tristan. Okay, we're going to shut that off for me, Tristan. You're all set. See how it all comes together? And um, I'm going to add the cornstarch, our slurry, and you are going to stir. Okay. We, the one thing about this slurry is you have to cook it out. 
cornstarch is kind of gritty. You can like this here too, and you can feel it. So make sure we just cook it out for a little bit. Now you've got your liquid right in the center. Everything is pushed up, right? Mm -hmm. So I just want you to stir in a circle when I add this. It has to be at a boil, okay? Go ahead and stir in a circle with your spoon. Just the liquid. There you go. I just want to make sure we're right. Okay, can you see how it's all already thickening up? Mm -hmm. So cornstarch is a thickener. Lesson number one, cornstarch is a thickener. There you go. I want it a little more. And you know why I want this um, to thicken up like this? I want it to coat every single piece of chicken and vegetable with that beautiful, flavorful sauce. Okay, and there you go. Now you're done. It thickened up nicely, didn't it? Mm -hmm. It really did. Let me get a platter to serve this on. The rice is ready. Our stir fry is ready. Oh, what a, what a beautiful day, Tristan. <laughs> I think I'm going to serve the rice on the side. Sure. Is that okay with you? Yeah. All right. High five. Okay. Look in the camera and talk to my students and tell them why you want to cook. I want to cook because I want to be a chef when I'm older and I want to go into culinary school when I'm 16. And you're 12 years old and you just woke up one day and said you wanted to be a chef. Yep. Well, let me tell you something about being a chef. If you're starting out young, I started out at your age, and that's why you're here. I was 12 years old when I knew what I wanted to be. So that's what this is a little about. I want you to share with your students the fact that you have a goal and a plan and a dream. And that's what I want them all to start thinking about at 12 years old. All right, here we go. I think that's very pretty. Good Kim. I made um, rice and culinary fusion stir fry. Okay, culinary fusion was a topic today, and um, we took Jamaican cuisine and we incorporated it into Chinese cuisine. We did a beautiful stir fry with a lot of spice to it, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And um, what were your favorite ingredients in here? My favorite ingredients were probably the chicken. Yeah. And the sauce. And the sauce. Also the carrots. The carrots. Now, in that sauce, what were your um, two ingredients that really made such a difference in the very beginning? Um, jerk sauce. Okay, yes, that was the key. We marinated our chicken in that. Mm -hmm. And um, did you enjoy working with fresh ginger today? Yeah. Have you ever worked with fresh ginger before? No. Um, what happens if you don't dice it up real small? Uh, it tastes <laughs> like perfume. Perfume, yeah. So make sure you, you put it on the grater. And, um, yeah. You don't want it to taste like perfume. You don't want it to taste like perfume. No, you don't want to bite it, but you did such a good job with your knife skills. So, um, Tristan, I want to thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. This is our uh, chicken stir fry, Montego Bay, uh, simple rice, and the one key with the rice was a ratio I taught you. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, one part one rice part to two, two parts two. liquid. Okay, and that's the recipe, and it's in your head. You'll never have to go pull out a cookbook, okay? But different rice is different things, and that's mm -hmm. just for the regular white. Uncle Ben. So we are all set today. Thank you so much for your time, Tristan. And I don't know what we're going to make next, but it's going to be fun. Yep. High five. Keep cooking. Remember, food is love. And um, thank you for your time, Tristan. You're welcome.